we're going to talk about artsiness at a later point, I'm sure. It seems yeah. to be a conversation we talk <laughs> about a lot. Um, because, I mean, we could talk about it now. Should we talk about it now or do we save it? <laughs> we... I guess so. Let's just talk about it now, get it over and done with. Okay. So, uh, to any listeners who like artsy movies for the sake of artsy movies, um, yeah, I think there, there's nothing wrong with an artsy film in itself. There's a certain there's a certain type of people who watch artsiness for the sake of artsiness, who will hear yeah. a film is niche, and they 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 they're, they're also probably the type of people who watch certain obscure films just so they can mention them in parties. And yeah. kind of among stuff and you can see a person just... like that a mile off um i know people who like artsy films who genuinely like artsy films because of what they do and what they do. that's fine and i think artsy films for kind of people that want to go into film stuff are important yeah but i think it's also important to have a balance of kind of cliche those types of films because yeah. they're the films that tend to you know make more box office wise they're the films that if you have that kind of talent to balance both out, you will probably have a better chance, yes. I would say. Yeah. Um, so to those who don't know, we're both wanting to get into film, right? Like we're both yeah. w- interested in careers in film. Um, and so, yeah, I think I've always gone to say, especially like my interest is writing and directing mostly, is that like yeah. there are certain types of people who want to make a film for like, the cinephile for the film fan for the film student to watch and say wow that was a masterpiece i want to make one that the film fan would watch and say that was quite sweet i'd like to show that to my mum like that's the kind of i i want to make a nice kind of sweet shut your brain off heartfelt film Mm -hmm. uh sometimes other times stupid comedies and dark thrillers as you know it appears (laughs) <laughs> but I think for the most part that is, that is kind of it is that I've been very kind of centered around around general audiences and the mainstream yeah. and I think there's a weird taboo about the mainstream by filmmakers like yeah, filmmakers so who want to make films for general audiences it's it's almost as if they've sold out and I don't think that's mm-hmm. the case necessarily no, I don't think so because it's like I mean look at films of the likes of Seven for example that we spoke about earlier that is a big budget film for a general audience, not really, you know, like, it's not for film, um, you know, like, arty people, I wouldn't say. But it is such a great film. And it kind of, it has that kind of aspect. I mean, I like thrillers and I like horrors and I like psychological stuff. Um, that's just my type of genre, I think. But I think Seven works well with that. And I think it kind of brings in the general mm. audience. And that's kind of what I would like to do. Stuff like that. Yeah. That you come out and you think, wow, that was clever. Yeah, I it, it's I'm, never yeah. it's never my go to. I still need to see seven. But among stuff that we've talked about, I you've drawn me into that intrigue and the appeal of people coming out and thinking, Oh, that was cleverly done, that was well made, which is great. But I, I also I don't think there's any selling out aspect of a film that can make you laugh or cry. Like that's just a thing. <laughs> and uh, mm-hmm. and um even if you do it in a really cheesy way, if you can get a reaction from the spectator, from the audience, then you've succeeded in the best yeah. way. I've I've once made a film that made people cry, and it was a very, very weird experience. Uh, in hindsight, I'm like, oh, that was great. At the actual time, with people coming out of the screening, tears going down their face and thinking... I did that. That does. That's not a good feeling. <laughs> that's quite. A... Yeah, but it is because you got a certain emotion from them, and I yeah. think that's what film is about. It's getting that kind of emotion from, like, you want people yeah. to get gain a connection with the characters from the film, and that's because of your directing and writing, etc. And I like that. Yeah, and I think also obviously a lot of relationship with cinema is what you bring into the film. So. Rom com. I don't know why I got appeal with rom coms actually, because I'm not someone who's been in any relationships or anything. I just like them. That doesn't make sense. But a lot of the time, people, you know, it's it's what you bring in your own past, your own views, your own ideas. No, no two people are going to get the same experience out of a film. Um, and I think mm-hmm. that's important in noting. Like, there's no. We can talk, and we will, I'm sure, talk about good and bad movies. But in real life, there's is, no. Such actually, thing. this leads to something. This leads to something. So. After every episode, we we are potentially going to be giving you a film recommendation that isn't Love Rosie. Yeah, just whatever films we've watched this week, we'll talk just about. Just so, them. like, if you're sat down and you're thinking, "I have no idea what to watch," this is this is a great place to find out. Yeah, My, I mean, mine is a film. When we get to it, a film which 
I have, which came out a couple of years ago, everyone was talking about. I didn't get around to seeing until like two days ago. Um, so that's that's mine. Um, but um, uh, so sometimes Excited there'll be to films hear. you've seen before. Other times they may be just random, mm -hmm. obscure. I don't know. I didn't. There'll be any week where we haven't watched a film. I think both of us watch films pretty regularly. Unfortunately. This is probably not very good, but yeah. I watched three films on Saturday. It was a good day. <laughs> it's just like you watch one and then it's like, okay, maybe just one more. And sometimes it's completely unintentional. Like I was watching one with my, mm -hmm. with my family and then we went to do something and it was like, oh, let's watch a film together tonight. And then it's like, oh, we got a bit more time. Let's put something else on. And then it's only when I checked my letterbox afterwards, I was like, three films? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, exactly. But yeah, it was, uh, that, that was it.